so in today's lecture of integral equation i will be doing holder's condi condition holder's condition holder's continuous function okay so we know that any function which satisfies holder's condition is known as holder's continuous function right then we have lipschitz condition cauchy's integral formula and plimage formula okay uh, plimage formula next is what uh, let me start with the definition first now holder's condition a function f of x a function f of x is said to satisfy holder's condition if there exists a constant k uh, there exists a constant k at alpha where zero is less than alpha alpha is less than or equal to 1 that means here alpha lies between zero and 1 such that for every pair of points x1 comma x2 lying in the closed interval a comma b now these are the closed brackets so okay? can it lies in interval ab right closed interval ab we have modulus of f of x1 minus f of x2 is less than k which is my constant where modul into modulus of x1 minus x2 raised to power of alpha which is also my constant okay here now a function which satisfy holder's condition is known as holder's continuous function so we know that any function uh, any function which satisfy holder's condition is known as holder's continuous function next is my um lipschitz condition right so if i put alpha to be 1 in particular if i put alpha is equal to 1 this it will be the equation will be known as lipschitz condition okay here in particular if i put alpha is equal to 1 in that condition like uh, how it was like modulus of f of modulus of f of x1 minus f of x2 right which was less than k of modulus of x1 minus x2 so if i put d alpha to be 1 so this will be known as lipschitz condition okay and i have given you all uh, this thing also statement of lipschitz condition or can go to this next uh, i'll move to cauchy's next is the cauchy's integral formula the integral equation f of z is equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral from c y of t t upon t minus z into dt okay now here this c is the regular curve and then this integral this will be known as cauchy type integral okay next uh, this is very important concept okay i'll turn the page next is my now let me start with the plimage formula statement or definition you all can say let y xi be the holder's continuous function of a point on a regular closed contour c so here what is my y xi it is the holder's continuous function of a point on a regular closed contour c and i introduce one point let a uh, point z tend to a point okay now this tend to a point what tend to a point in on uh, the bracket write down in an arbitrary manner inside and outside the contour c okay on this contour then close the bracket then write on this contour then the cauchy integral tends to the limit now f plus of t is equal to 1 upon 2 y of t plus 1 upon 2 pi i integral from c to star y x i upon x i minus t into d x i and this consider this as equation 1 okay and i turn the page now on the next page on f plus of t is equal to minus half into y of t plus 1 upon 2 pi i integral from c to star y x i upon x i minus t into d x i and take this as 2 then equation 1 and 2 are called plimage formula okay now this equation and this is known as plimage formula okay they are the plimage uh, 
फीमेल्स फॉर्मूलाज ओके आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड माई टूडेज लेक्चर एंड द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विल बी ऑन पॉइंट केयर पैटर्न ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फॉर्मूला इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर आई विल बी डूइंग दिस प्रूफ अलॉन्ग विद स्टेटमेंट सो आई इफ यू हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड एनी ऑफ द इफ यू हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड एनी ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट यू कैन कमेंट विलो ओके एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग